Okay. Today we will do Kulam's law. Uh, let us see first the statement of Coulomb's law. According to this law, the electrostatic force between two point charges is directly proportional to the product of their magnitudes of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers. Now, according to this statement, if we have uh, two point charges, you see, the electrostatic force between the two point charges is directly proportional to the pro product of their magnitudes of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between uh, their centers. So let us consider a two point charges given by Q1 and Q2. Let us also consider that the distance between the centers of Q1 and Q2 be R. And let us uh, consider the electrostatic force to be equal to F, supposed to be F. Then if suppose, let us place Q1 to be somewhere here and Q2 to be somewhere here. Then the distance between the centers of Q1 and Q2 is given by R. This is charge Q1 and this is charge Q2. The distance between Q1 and Q2 is R. Now, according to the first part of that uh, state statement, it said that the electrostatic force between two point charges is directly proportional to the product of their magnitude of the charges. That means, according to that first part of the statement, F is directly proportional to the product of Q1 and Q2. We take only the magnitude. Name this as equation number one. Again, if you look into the second parts of the same uh, statement, we see that the force is also inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers. So according to that second part of that same statement, F is inversely proportional to the square of R. That means F is inversely proportional to 1 by R square. Name this as equation number 2. Combining equation 1 and 2, Combining equation 1 and 2, we have, combining equation 1 and 2, we have, F is proportional to Q1 and Q2, only magnitude, divided by R square. If we change the proportionality sign to equal signs, we have to write some constant. So I write that constant here to be equal to K. So Q1, Q2 by R square. Where K is a constant, where K is a constant, where K is a constant whose magnitudes depend upon the system of units that we employed and the nature of the medium in which the charges are placed. Now, in SI unit, and when the charges are placed in vacuum, the value of K is given by K is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, which is equal to 1 by, if I write the value of epsilon naught, so it will be H, 0.854 into 10 to the power minus 12. This is the value of K. And if we do the calculation, we will get it 9 into 10 to the power 9. And the uh, unit is Newton meter square by Coulomb square. Newton meter square by Coulomb square. Where again we have to define here where epsilon naught is the absolute absolute permittivity 
permittivity of free space permittivity of free space and the value of epsilon naught epsilon naught is equal to 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 and the unit is coulomb square per newton per meter square okay so if i name this as equation number three now if i name this as equation number four so if i substituting the value of k from equation four in three i get therefore f is equal to if we substitute the value of k from four in three we get f is equal to instead of k i will write now one by four pi epsilon naught one by four pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r square name this as equation number five now again i can write in terms of the value of of one by four pi epsilon naught so also i can write here f will be equal to instead of one by four pi epsilon naught i'll write nine into ten to the power nine okay uh, q1 q2 q1 q2 by r square name this as equation number six now equation three five and six equation three i can write here equations three comma five comma and six gives the magnitude of the electrostatic force gives the magnitude magnitude of electrostatic force give the magnitude of electrostatic force between between the two point charges between the two point charges q1 and q2 this is also we sometimes call it a coulomb's law in scalar form coulomb's law in scalar form now here you see uh, equation three five and six it gives us what we call coulomb's law in scalar form or sometimes if you look at those three equations also you will see that it gives us the value of f f in equation three also we have f five also f six also we have f that means it gives us the value of electrostatic force f between the two point charges q1 and q2 and here we can see also according to these three equations you see we get the relationship between the electrostatic force and the charge charge q1 and q2 and with this we complete the topic today thank you